I love to use elements in the foreground just to create a little bit more interest. Sometimes it's nice to just use a different perspective. Over here, I had shot the Hagia Sophia through a, a, a restaurant window, you know. Um, uh, this monument, actually, the Hagia Sophia, has been shot by many photographers. And I thought that a change in perspective might work for my image a little bit better. The river Bosphorus is a very significant river in Turkey since it forms a part of the continental boundary between Europe and Asia. It also connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. Many years ago, a huge iron chain was put from Constantinople to the Galata Tower over the Bosphorus River, hence preventing unwelcome ships coming and entering the Golden Horn. This image was taken from a tall building and I enjoyed the perspective it had over the rooftops. You will see in this image that there is a young boy wearing a very extravagant suit with an elaborate cape. This is an outfit that young boys wear after a very traditional ritual called Sunne in Turkey. This is an important ritual and a lot of emphasis is put on this ritual as it is the first step from being a boy and becoming a man. I found this young boy walking around the streets of Sultan Ehmet, that is at old Istanbul, feeling most proud after the traditional event. It's all in the eyes. This gentleman's eyes were magnetic and drew me to photograph him. His gaze was riveting and I could actually tell that he was aware that he held that power. Sometimes the street springs lovely surprises at instances when you least expect them. The trick is to really just keep looking. The blind man with a kite. It cannot get more ironic than this. This man was blind and trying to fly a kite. Street photography often offers life lessons that one can learn by only experiencing instances such as this. Two eerie Medusa heads watch over Turkey's waterways. The heads are the most striking sights in the underwater cisterns in Istanbul. The place is dark and spooky and very dimly lit. I wanted to create a blurry and a somewhat scary image and that's why I let the people in the background blur using a slow shutter speed and kept the head somewhat in focus. I like my images, especially the portraits, to tell a story. I believe that there is a moment when a person's spirit, mind and soul is reflected that could be uh, via their eyes or hands or simply an attitude. For me, this lady walking in this sea of people stood out and exuded something very special that struck a visual chord and I took a picture of her. These were the desolate highways of Cappadocia. The only things that keep you company here are the spectacular fairy chimneys, your path and your loyal animals. A very dignified looking pilot of the hot air balloon is seen here multitasking and pouring a beverage for an early morning champagne breakfast in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in Cappadocia. I used a flash here, which I seldom use in the outdoors because of the dark overcast sky. I chanced upon this beautiful, very interesting tree in the Love Valley uh, in Cappadocia. This tree has uh, two elements to it, which I thought were both very fascinating. Uh, it was laden with evil eye talismans like fruits hanging from a tree. These talismans are tied to ward off any kind of evil. And the second element were pigeons. The pigeons actually have a lot of significance in Cappadocia, especially in this area called Gorame. Um, I wanted to actually showcase both those things on this tree and uh, I focused on the blue of the talismans to be able to bring out 
uh, the color and to make them stand out and uh, also the pigeons which are kind of silhouetted in this particular image but uh, I thought that it would just be interesting to have them both in this picture. As one walks through the trails of the 16 kilometer long gorge which has cut through ancient volcanic rock, I noticed idyllic getaways literally in the middle of the river. This tiny restaurant looked like it was floating on water and was most fascinating. Hi, I hope you have enjoyed the mini series on street photography that Art Etc and I brought to you. Before signing off, I just want to say that uh, every photographer actually wants to bring to the table something new, something that his viewers have not seen before. And it has been pretty much the same for me as well. Uh, as I travel and walk the streets of different parts of the world and our country, uh, basically walk the streets, I'm always looking for something that is different, that has not been seen and um, can be shot and shown to my viewers. I always look out for things that um, I feel could be missed out if uh, I don't take a picture and freeze them into eternity. Uh, I hope that this has been of some use to you and I hope that uh, you all are inspired and will pick up your cameras and start dabbling and walking the streets and creating your own special moments. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and uh, we will see you soon again.